What's going on everyone? It's Greg back with some more Mirror Fort. And today I just want to make a quick video that you guys have been asking for over and over again. And I keep forgetting. Well, I don't really forget. I just haven't had time to do it. And everyone wants to know what is debilitation? And you know, what's the point of debilitation resistance? What's the point of debilitation success? And let's just go ahead and get right into it. Now, you'll notice on your stats, we have a few things that are kind of separated out. We have stun success boost, debilitation success boost, silent success boost, and knockdown success boost. And you have those resistances as well. So what that tells me, and again, we don't have all the we don't have like in-depth game data. We don't know exactly what happens on the back end. But that tells me that they are separating the chances for stun, uh, silence, and knockdown from what they consider debuffs. And that's what debilitation is. It is essentially in this game debuff. Now that you have debilitation is used in a few different ways. There's also debilitation of a boss where it gets into a state where it, it's like debilitated and not attacking. Um, but that, so that doesn't necessarily mean debuffed as it does for characters. Um, because I mean, essentially, you can still debilitate a boss by putting debuffs on it. So it's a little bit confusing as to why they call it debilitation when it's um, sitting down on the ground. Um, but that that can be seen like sometimes you're fighting a boss and you see it come across the screen. The boss has been debilitated. Uh, I forget where exactly the message pops up, but I've seen it before. So debilitation, what does that mean? It's basically it's everything that's a debuff outside of stun, knockdown, and what's the other one? Uh, silence. So silence has its own yeah. For whatever reason, silence has its own separate thing. Um, I'm not really sure why. To me, silence is a debuff. I'm not sure why it's separated out. But whatever. If you go to skills and effect info. All right, this is where you can see kind of what the uh, debilitation effects are. We have a uh, weaken effect, which is weakens the basic stats of the uh, opponent. You got daze, confuse, expose, and marker. These essentially just trigger bash. Um, you then have chill, which triggers bash, but also has a chance to freeze and uh, boost damage. You have burn, which is a damage boost that's uh, not removable. Darkness, which is a debuff increasing silence and blind application chance. And I'm pretty sure darkness can also be used to trigger bash. Um, but I'm not exactly sure. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, I thought there were some of these other ones that trigger, oh, like chill. Chill definitely could trigger bash, but it says trigger bash. So I guess maybe I'm wrong there. Um, maybe I was, uh, maybe the, uh, the, what is it? Darkness does not, trigger bash I think it triggers some other stuff then we have silence effect and blind effect now so basically the only thing on this list that isn't technically debilitation is silence and the only reason why I'm saying that is because it has a separate uh, um, basically a separate resistance and boost but who knows we don't know what's going on behind the scenes it you know debilitation resistance could help with that who knows but essentially what debilitation resistance and boost is going to help with if you're doing boost it's going to help you make sure you get your days confused exposed on them on your opponent if you ever pay attention to your moves and sometimes you do a move that triggers mark or expose or whatever confused days you might notice that your bashes don't light up and that opponent didn't get the debuff that could be due to the resistance so you do need to have uh some of your you need to boost some of your debilitation in order to be able to Make sure you're landing those debuffs. So that's essentially what debilitation is. It's just it's just debuffs. Like every other game I played, I call it debuff. And here it's called debilitation. Um, and so I guess the key difference here is that you know debuffs are used to trigger bash, which is very important. So it's definitely gonna be good to have some debilitation success boost. And of course, also gonna be good to have debilitation resistance boost. You don't want people to easily be able to bash you. So keep that in mind. That's really all I got for you. That's what debilitation is. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. I uh, hope this video was helpful. If it was, hit that like button. And as usual, guys, I'll catch you in the next video.